What was it grow like growing up a foster? Um, I mean, I guess it's hard to compare because we don't know what it's like to grow up anywhere, anyone else. <laughs> but you have the same mother. David's had a few wives. He's had. He's, he's on, had. He just finished his fourth marriage. Four, fifth. Four, fourth, right? Um, I, I, believe, I believe he's looking for his fifth. Yeah, we're looking. For, he we're always looking wants for, to be married, like me. Yeah, he's. Uh, it's so funny. I said to him, I was like, "You're done, right? You can just hang out." And he goes, "No, I want to get married again." He loves <laughs> that getting what married. He said to you? Yeah, he's ready. Now, what is David Foster really like as a dad? He's a really good dad. He's, he's. He calls me every day. He does. Call, he calls every day. Sarah ignores most of his phone calls. I, I, I ignore a lot of the phone calls. Well, I. <laughs> Why? No, but no, it's it's. I'm I'm not great with the phone, but my dad is is. He's a good. He's a good dad. Did he annoy you that he married a lot? Uh, look, it's not ideal. I think that the intention of any family is to stay together, and anytime you bring new elements in and new people, everyone has a different agenda and a different expectation of what that family should be like. So, obviously. When you have a new woman in the picture, she's going to raise her children differently than he's going to raise his kids. And then yeah. our mom is, there's a lot of moving parts. And I think, I mean, it, it's for sure it's a big reason why I haven't gotten married yet. I'm 34 almost. Um, and it's sort of like a terrifying thought when you watch so many marriages break down and come back yeah. together. How old were you when they broke up? Five and three. three. Yeah, was three. Right, but we grew up living with our mom. You know, when, when parents get divorced, you, you, you kind of usually stay with the mom. But so. was David a good father? during that period. Yeah, I think when we were young, yeah. he was very busy, and he uh, did live with his wife at the time and her two boys. We didn't, um, I didn't live with him past the age of three. So uh, I think it wasn't perfect, you know? It wasn't yeah. perfect, but. But as an adult, when I think uh, you kind of need your parents the most, I know for me, the relationships I have with my mom and dad now as an adult and as a parent, it's um, it's it's the most valuable relationship you can have. Yeah. So I, I appreciate our relationship today, Farmer. When they ask uh, my kids, what's it like to be the children of Larry King? They said they don't know what they don't know any other yeah, life. Yeah. So we don't know what to say to it. Yeah, I think also it, as you become an adult and as you grow up, you you have to let your parents off the hook a little bit because I think you We're have the best you can. have someone on a pedestal and you want them to be all knowing and perfect and know exactly how to love you the way you need to be loved and. Everyone's doing the best they can, you know? So our dad made mistakes when we were kids, and as an adult, we have conversations with him. And if you have a parent just communicate with you and say, like, I messed up, I didn't do that right, and I want to make up for it now, you kind of have to have a clean slate and start over. Because for me, certainly, I said to him, I don't want to spend the rest of our lives punishing you for, uh, for mistakes you made when we were kids. You've got to move on. And yeah. you have to just, like, have a friendship as adults. But we also like our dad to be married. We want a woman taking care of him. We, we, I don't want to be changing his diapers. You know what I'm saying? I want a woman to be there for he's him. He's not there yet, but... He's not there yet. You know? But Same. you want a woman to, to take care of your father. Sure. I mean, that's what we want for yeah. him. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.